Oh, she'll be nice to me this week. Oh my god, she still got the last position up. <laughs> well, I was ignominiously checkmated. <laughs> Queen H3 is a blunder. Right, yeah, don't rub it in. <laughs> right. I need more experience versus grandmasters. Are you that strong? Well, I think it's been clear because I fell into a mate in one that I'm not. Let's see if we can do better. Am I right? Okay. And are we playing 2400, Beth? Yes, we are. Okay. I think that's apparently her nice level. So let's see if she devise anything against g4. e5. Okay. Whoa. Tricky one. I think we're playing h3. They could transpose into knight c6. She's been very cagey. Deciding not. Last time she just came. Oh no, she has played d5. Right. Okay. Let's uh, attack the center. Bishop b6. That's a strong move. Uh, okay, I don't know this line very well. Not many people cared against her. And she's taken on C4. Well, Yeah, okay. So we take on C6, which is attractive, but quite dangerous. But we'll play it. Bishop takes C6. And now, maybe Queen out here. B6. Now, as we play the Knight here, F6 there. Let's play the, let's try and disrupt her center. Oops. Yeah, she's certainly playing better than she did last time. Um, I h6, bit of a puzzler. Okay. okay, let's just get the pawn back. Let's be surprised on that. Queen c5. more mysterious. Uh, Bishop A3 is not going to work. She's trying to get my pawn. Little girl. Right. Rook B8. Another fine move, I think. We better put the bishop here to attack the queen. Queen to B4. Ah. Trouble, her tactics is so good. Mm -hmm. I was going to play queen takes c6, check. But then the bishop goes to d7, and then I'm going to lose my wretched knight on c3. Well done, Beth. Once again, you have outthought me. Hmm. You truly are this wonder kid. Well, I have to do something. I can't do what I want to do. Of retreat. Are we running out of time? Not yet. Should I take? No, I don't think so. If I take it, just develop her bishop. So we better retreat ignominiously. Queen to b2. Well, we're not too worried about that, I think. I don't really mind the queens getting exchanged. Okay, we're going to take. Now we are in the end spiel. Now I will possibly have in theory an advantage because 
she has her development has been rather haphazard. And then might even be able to pick up a pawn. Ah, she's playing good stuff again. Another good defensive move. Ah, but can I? No, I cannot thwart her. This is what is so sad. Ah. Ah, they just got out of it again. I think maybe this is risky against the computer. Wait, don't do that to me. Huh? <laughs> For some reason. Okay. Now, she could have taken my pawn at e2, but she must have done a calculation. But it was not such a good idea. But she is fighting like in this position. Yeah, I can check her, but she can... Now, I think I've got to play my pawn. I can't really afford... It's a very interesting move, e4. Certainly fighting hard, vicious. Okay, but I, I will have to take the knight here to d4. This is quite intricate. Um, now, can I prove the pawn to g d6? Pawn to g6 looks good. Rook checks. Uh, checks, the king goes, no, uh, it's getting complicated. Uh, maybe. Okay, we're going to push the pawn to g6. She had to go to d8, otherwise I would have done something to her rook, which would have been most horrible. Uh, no, I had this plan, but I've forgotten what it was. Um, maybe, maybe we just we just take. She's a little bit tied up, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, I might be able to get my knight to f5. Yeah. It's a bunny fighter. Ah. Okay, let's put the knight. Should we put the knight on f5? Yeah. Yeah, knight to c6. She again is defending, unfortunately, pretty well. Uh, what about... We could... Right. Want to take on a7, but then she's she can she can play a good move there as well. Okay, maybe I play king. Come on. So. <laughs> Join bishop there. Okay, now I could attack. Bishop. Now she takes. I'm going to take that. Now she's checked me. I've got to find where to put my king. Um, don't want to go to there. I think I'll have to go back. Doesn't like moving the king, does it? Okay, let's try that. Knight to there. Right. Um, oh, 
Okay, let's take the knight. Okay. Yes, take with the bishop. I could possibly check with the rook. She's moved the king. Now, at least all my pawns are on white squares, so I could maybe put my knight into c5. Now, is she plays rook d8? No, she hasn't. I was going to do something nasty. Now, maybe knight to there. Six. Is he going to get anywhere? Knight to e6. Okay. How much time have I got left? I don't know. Oh, you mean you can take as long as you like? Ah, oh, I shouldn't have gone away before. Bishop to a3, what's the point of that? Uh, so I got a really dominant knight here. Come on. Let's attack the bishop. This has gone back to d6. I can try and trap. Can't get my rook in. My king acted. Sheesh, get that. C5, she just moved the bishop around. I still can't get the king into look into position. Hmm. Huh. It's very strange. I haven't got breakthroughs here. Um. Yeah, she's managing to keep everything under control. I think I think I maybe play Rook. <laughs> to B three. Uh uh. Ah, uh, that I did. That's not what I wanted to happen. Okay. Um, right. Well, we messed up a bit here. Right now, I could use four not to e4. Got four to a five. Should I go? No, I can't go. Could go four to a four. To g four. Hmm. Yeah, what about knight d three? A four. Okay. Up there. C5. Now, can we play F4 trying to win something? Like trying to play the pawn to E5 to win the bishop. I'm sure she's got an evil plan against that. But I don't know what it is. So let's go ahead. Uh, she's found a way out. Okay. We'll still advance the pawns. See why the grog is such a good opening. Um, because I've got more centre pawn. Now if I play pawn takes pawn, she would have to take with her pawn. How could I then <laughs> get my eyes in the right position? Because gracious, this is a hard decision. Or should I play e6 check? Okay, we'll take one takes pawn. She won't. Well, she's taken with the bishop. She didn't expect it. So she's given me a pawn. And now maybe 
could I get my rook onto the D line to check? Yeah, I'll do that. I think I gotta do that. C6, I need to get my rook onto the seventh row. Now I need to. Uh, now what do we do? Get my rook there. And for some, yeah, she's played a great move. She's gonna counterattack on my pawn. Uh, what about playing? <sighs> ah. Okay, we're going to try this one. Okay, we better try this one. We better try this one. She's played, but I think I win the king and pawn ending now quite easily. endings are always one that's what they were told me could this be the exception does Beth know more than I do have the rules of chess changed There weren't any other pawns on the board. Actually, she, she seems to have made a uh, not quite a mistake here. Uh, cunning. Okay. Yeah. So now. What's coming? <laughs> okay. And now we'll just head. We use our pawn on f6 as a decoy, yeah? So she has to capture it, and then we get the past pawn. Now we shut her king out, and I think we better completely shut her king out, so she cannot get to tackle our pawn. Okay, now, it's a long time since I had one of these positions, queen, king, it's king. I've just got to try to remember how to win them. Yeah, I think I'll get a queen, actually. Right, now the thing to do is to try and make her king come towards my king. Because he's a lazy guy, uh, you know. Only one square at a time. And now, it's a tricky one, this one. <laughs> yep, okay. Shouldn't take more than that now. See, we, we do the um, squeeze box or the toothpaste method. See, the black king is squeezed between the white queen and the black king. Yeah, so we. Even though he's in the middle of the board, as you can see, he's actually only got one square to go to. And now, we can now force him on the back row. I wonder what move he would play here. Yeah. So the best move, just a teeny-weeny move with the queen, just to take off the 
its F3 sway has to go on the back row, and now it's mate in two. Um, of course, if you play queen F2 and squeeze into death, you stalemate it. Uh, so what's the best move here? I think it's mate in two if you play king F4. And now the question is, which mate? Are we doing with queen on the side or sandwich mate? Which is more elegant? Can we have a vote? Should we have queen G4 or queen H2? What have what, what they suggested? Do they want to do the sandwich or the queen oh, side? Sandwich, okay. Uh, okay, we'll do the sandwich mate. Queen is sandwiched between the white king and the menage à trois. Good, good. Well, thanks, thanks, Beth. Um, right, well, that was a tough game. Beth didn't get a good, I see what you did, and I can't believe I let that happen. Um, I'm exhausted by this game, you know. I'm not as young as you, I know you can be all night long, but uh, I'm going to just uh, relax by playing someone a bit easier. Okay. <laughs> so thanks, Beth. Great game. Right, so um, am I white? Yep. And who's the opponent? It's Asiong. And we'll have a 10 minute game. Um, so I think we'll go on the other side this time. Um, let's go um, B4. D6. Um, that's a tricky one to meet, that one. Um, He's going to go e5, and that kind of negates my setup. <laughs> so let's play h3. I know it's junk, but it's fun. Okay, so we're going to transpose into the grog. Because he's played h6. Right. Okay, we'll try and dominate the center from the h. So these raking bishops, um, but he's taken the center position. Now I don't think his h6 necessarily fits in well. But then, I don't suppose my moves fitting with any plan either. So let's develop. Question is, where the king's going to go? Knight d7. Let's try d3. Bishop g5. That is causing me grief. Which we do. Try that. <laughs> that would be quite amusing. Okay, we're going to do that just to annoy you. Because if he takes my bishop on c1, we can take on d6. Check. It's a great move. <laughs> Makes a change. Uh -huh. He probably had to retreat there. Um, we could go c5, but nah, I don't think so. Gosh. Is he threatening d5 or something? Be annoying. So let's support that pawn just in case. I play d5 and discover attack. That's an excellent move. Shall we take? Da, 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 da. No. After all, g3 is a nice little square for the knight because he's behind the pawn and he's ready to advance. Now he has some decisions to make. 
because they will usually automatically cast, but you won't, won't want to do that. So knight b6 is a much more cagey move. Uh, but I've got decisions to make. How do I develop? So do I? No, I'm thinking of playing that, but it looks too risky. That's f4. Takes he goes there. I think we'll do it. Okay. Of course, it does uh, recklessly expose my king. <laughs> but I've got to take risks to win. Well, I have a kind of space advantage. That's another great move. Now we, not time we develop that one, my guy. Knight to g5. Uh, I think we must castle. Castle into safety. King has got one, two, three, four pieces defending him. <laughs> so, what can go wrong? <clears throat> Hopefully, nothing. So, it's a sort of king's gambit. That is, I've opened up the F file, I've got my work on the open file. Time situation. I've taken six, so oh, he's been quick. So, what do I take with now? Look, don't want to, Bishop. Don't want to. I'll take with the rook. And now he's castled. Yeah, that's excellent. I think we'll just continue developing maybe kind of what you call it connecting the rooks except one of them's gone up to f3 maybe we might be able to begin some kind of attack on his king bishop g5 this is the 99th attempt to swap these bishops so we'll wobble the dukes on the f file What he's done is correct, he has to exchange the pieces, otherwise my attack will become too strong. Bishop e6, now what? I suppose we should, in theory, think he is the man, but he gets I want to get d5 in. I want to play knight e4. What about swapping these things and then playing knight e4? It doesn't quite work. Swapping them. It's annoying. Swapping them. It doesn't work. What's the time going? No. Okay. Maybe we want to go to E4, but I'm afraid my knight would be hit by D5. So I'll wander in the other direction. And it kind of looks a bit scary for his king. So let's take with what? Take with the queen. Hmm. 
Well, we've got an impressive lineup. That's a good defense, I think. I have to, I have to block it off here. And now, uh, can't resist threatening me. There, I've threatened me. I think we've got a player's pawn to f6 here. And then I might advance with pawn to h4 and pawn to g5. Queen to g5. That's an interesting move. Uh, queen to g5. So I can't. Can I play h4? Because he takes the pawn. So we better go. He plays there. Right. It's an unexpected move. Okay, uh, what should we do there? Can't see that so great. Yeah, okay. F3. Rook F4, sorry. Into that move either. <laughs> Queen e5. Great move. He's defending extremely well. <sighs> right, we're going to have to keep those queens on. Run down to b2. No, he's not done that, so I think so we just hit the queen. Yeah, or should we? Yeah, I think we should hit the queen. Very stubborn defense. Whoa, queen into the corner. Right. I think I have to. Well, let's retreat. Could move to f6 check, but possibly that might relieve his cramped position because you know his pieces are a bit blocked in. Maybe I keep keep the pieces on as long as it doesn't get my rook trap. G5 and play rook f3. So I suppose I now have a threat of pawn to e4. Um, then I might be able to get in on his position. So let's try pawn to e4. Hope that does something. We may have a little combination here. Yeah, G5. I think I think I have to move the rook back here. Yeah. But I'm not sure if the combinations will work for him. Yeah. He's defending very well again. Uh, shall we put 
bishop pawn takes pawn it takes with the bishop I think still pawn takes pawn or knight f5 is that one it's the time running out can't afford too much might get a big big square on f5 for my knight that would make everything worthwhile Bishop there. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to put the rook here. Yes, so his knight is restricted. My knight could get to f5. Right. Should be okay for white now. Bishop takes. King take, but only one minute left. <laughs> so what's going to happen here? Right, he's got to get to f5. So he's going to get his knight to d5. I forgot that, oh, but he can't do that. The rook takes, so he can't get to d5 yet. Queen to g6 now. Maybe queen to e, queen to e7, is that going to work? Means his, his wretched knight's got to go somewhere. We have to go back to b8, which is in the middle of the square. So we can play queen, try and swap the queens. But even that wouldn't be a good ending, I don't think. Yes, but it still doesn't look like a good ending. Not that I've got any time. We checks. Ah. Okay. <laughs> right. Whoops, I played whoops. That's annoying. Okay. Let's hope he takes my pawn on d4. I have. That was nice of you. I can take the nine. Now, how much time we got left? Don't know. <laughs> Where is the time? Well, there. Oh, one, one, one minute. Okay, so peace up is a possibility. Queen to there. Right. Oops. Okay. Oh, that was one. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Better block that. Right. Now we're going to play knight f6 and things are looking bad for him. Oh, I think he's lost, he lost his queen now. Huh? Check. And he's lost his queen. Check as well. Right, okay, we better take the queen. Check. Uh, we could should be able to beat him in thirty seven seconds. Okay. Check again. 
33 seconds. And maybe a double check. This was an issue of not allowed the double check. And now it's made next move. And now, oh, it's not made next move. Yes, it is. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, tough game that one. So I think I'll go home and lie down. <laughs> Great, see you next Wednesday, mates.